Oh, we're still in the AST? Oh, that's awesome. It was a plan only Gideon could have come up with. A frontal assault on Iron Stronghold using the two mech suits we found back at the base. Drones would fly us in. After that, we'd be on our own. Sentinel 2-1, we're still detecting high levels of contamination in the city. We will not be able to get ground forces to assist you. Over. Copy that, Kingpin. Enemy forces are closing on your position. I see him. Mitchell, weapon free. Light him up. Also, this is reminiscent of the way Modern Warfare 3 ended, by the way. Enemies on the overpass. So I'm not super impressed. I mean, it's fun, but... I'd rather be driving the ASC than the tank. Yeah, I can't. Oh, there we go. Detach. Mitchell, detach. We're underwater. Kingpin, I didn't know. We're subsurface, approaching the breach point. Two one, be advised. We will be forced to strike the command center if you are unable to stop the launch. We'll risk further Manticore contamination, but it will be our only option. If you don't think you can stop it, get the hell out of there. Copy that. Got it. I had no idea these things had built-in water, like, systems or whatever. It's kind of peaceful here at the bottom of the, um, river with that random soda can. Feeling a little Bioshocky right now, actually. Have fun, Gideon. Breach point is up ahead. Let's move. Gideon, thermal readings are spiking inside the command center. They're going to launch soon. We'll make it. Mitchell, on me. Yep, I'm on you. I'm right behind you. Ilona, we're inside. You should be right next to the launch pad. Security breach in the silo. All units converge on sector four immediately. Swarm missiles ready. Rocket ready. Main gun ready. Contact! Hi guys! Man, sucks to be you today. All you dirty bastards that killed me about a million times when I only had a pistol. Hmm. Well, got more than a pistol now. Y'all best pray to God. Not gonna do much help though. Y'all only Jesus is Manticore. That ain't no Jesus, that's gas. It's butt gas. Nasty virusy DNA infused butt gas. That's the only thing you have. Head down. You'll have to use the exhaust vents on the bottom floor. Okay. Downstairs. Keep moving forward. I like how it highlights everything for you. That makes it a lot easier on me. Nice. I was enjoying that spread. That was a good spread. Alright. Still after Gideon. Looks 
looks like we're getting close here. Downstairs? Okay. Launch in B minus four minutes. I lied, I'm sort of enjoying this. I thought this would be annoying, but this is actually pretty cathartic. Cargo loading in progress. All they have is stinger missiles. That's that's just all they've got. Okay, downstairs maybe? Alright. Excuse you. Uh oh. This is the part I don't like. I hate fighting other ASTs. That seems to be a little bit uh, annoying. But I'll take the high road, and Gideon will take the low road. And I don't remember how the rest of the song goes. Everyone is dead, everyone is dying. Swarm missiles ready. We're taking our sweet time here. Swarm missiles ready. Stage three boosters check complete. Oh. Gideon, we might need to hurry the hell up, you know. Uh, we're coming down to the wire here. I think we got maybe like a minute and a half. Got it. Keep pushing forward. At this point in the game, I'd expect an ambush, but I guess not. Okay. Launch in T minus one minute. Mitchell, open the hatch. Okay. Down the hall. into a rocket Yeah, we did it. 
That was nonsense, but awesome. Mitchell, hang on. We stopped it. We stopped the launch. I'm gonna get you out of here. Stay with me. What? Eh. And eh. And eh. I'm apparently a dead eye now. Eh. Eh. Not sure exactly how far you've carried me because I've been blacking out for most of it, but Hello, Mitchell. Don't what fucking move? I could ask the same of you. You're sucking into our exos! Come on, Ammo! You rely too much on those things. The city is falling, it's over! What I have started won't end with me. It's bigger than me, and it's certainly bigger than you! You think I'm a monster? That's only because you don't have the conviction to do what's necessary. Necessary? The attack on America? Unleashing Manticore? Killing thousands of innocent people? I'm saving the world from itself. When there's no one left to challenge Atlas, there will be no more wars. There had to be sacrifices along the way. Yeah. Twisted fucks throughout history have used the same argument. I don't know who stopped the launch. They'll bring this entire building down on top of you. I could have killed you in the prison camp. I could kill you now, but I won't. I'm not a monster. The fuck? Mitchell, try to hit the release on your exo. Um, tab X. Now mine. It's not working. There's no time. If he gets away, this will all have been for nothing. Go. No. Okay. Spreads. Motherfucker. Eh. What? Okay, I understand I needed, like, a running start before I slid, but I slid, and I hit that door, and it was like, eh. God damn it, what the hell? Come on, man. Okay. So I need sprint under the second door, not the first one. Got it. There we go. Cockadookie bullshit. RS, 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 RS. Ready for quick time events. Oh my god. Mitchell, pull me up. I'm not letting go. So you've got to pull me up. Mitchell, there's only two choices. You either pull me up, or this whole building goes down and we go down with it. 
Cut your arm off! Cut your arm off! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Yes! Yes, do it! What are you doing? Mitchell! I gave you that arm! Mitchell! I gave you a second chance! Cut it off, cut it off, cut it off! Cut it off! Cut the arm off! Yes! Do it! Oh, that was perfect! Yes! Perfect. Awesome. I've got you, mate. I've got you. It's only gonna end one way for me. Irons gave me a second chance. And I gave it back. He thought he could solve the world's problems. If he did have the answer, he took it with him to the grave. But he was right about one thing. This wasn't the end. It was just the beginning. into the game well that was uh, quite a treat to be beat um let's see my thoughts yeah this campaign held up really well until maybe the last two missions i think the last two missions were a little uh annoying the whole uh thing with your arm breaking and having to do like the entire half of that part without having to reload and have to run around for weapons was Annoying and unrealistic, I think, uh, that could have been shortened significantly to give you the same effect without making you fight multiple waves of enemies and having to s actually search out um, new weapons to reload your stuff, and that made me upset. Uh, the exosuit uh, finale was pretty fun. It wasn't as annoying as the first exosuit part with having to fight all that stuff that suddenly pops up on you that you don't really expect. Um, In general, I think some of the pacing of the story was a little weird, but it wasn't bad. Uh, it felt about as good as the story from the first Modern Warfare uh, game, if I remember right. And if they plan to keep going with the storyline and reintroduce um, Alona and Mitchell and Gideon, if they, if they become recurring characters in a um, Advanced Warfare 2 sort of thing, that uh, would be really cool. And I can't wait to see what they do with it. Hands down, the campaign by itself is uh, pretty good, though. It like it could hold up as its own game, and that's what it's supposed to do. And other games that are multiplayer focused like this, uh, there there's been a recent trend where developers have really skimped on the campaigns and made them kind of boring, like just shoot things, and that's about it. But this had a lot of gadget play in it, and. Um, I think one of the roles of the campaign is to introduce you to multiplayer, and we got to play with a lot of the gadgets that we would normally have in multiplayer, I think. The only thing that didn't carry over to multiplayer out of all the gadgets was uh, the grapple. The grapple was, I think, campaign exclusive. But, um, pretty fun game. I, um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing through the campaign, um, a lot. And I see what people said when uh, they said it was a really good campaign. I had a lot of problems with Kevin Spacey's character near the end. He he was a really cunning villain up until, like, he started to get, like, power-hungry and crazy. Like, the mission after the one where he turns evil, I was like, um... What reason do you have to just, like, take out a small... <laughs> led by Kevin Spacey? That's funny led by Kevin Spacey. Uh, uh, but anyway, yeah, him just going to California and destroying the Golden Gate Bridge was a little bit weird. Um, I would think that someone like like Irons would have gone straight for the White House and tried to dismantle the government from there, or done a major strike on one of the military bases or something. I don't know. 
California, no offense Californians, doesn't seem like the most important place to attack, uh, to cripple America's infrastructure. I mean, I don't know what's there, so I can't really say that, though. I don't know. Um, but anyway, those minor complaints aside, I, I think I'd give the campaign about an 8 out of 10. Uh, definitely worth the price of admission um, with the multiplayer tacked on. Uh, I hope all the DLC is good, too. Like, all the DLC that's supposed to be coming out for the multiplayer I've already bought with the season pass. I spent a hundred bucks on this game at launch because I wanted a new Modern Warfare, or Call of Duty game to play. And it was not what I was expecting, but it's still been pretty fun. And in the future, if you'd like to see more Call of Duty videos or multiplayer stuff, um, I might do uh, a couple games with friends. But other than that, don't expect me to be one of those guys that makes tons of, like, uh... What do you call it? Tons of montage videos of Call of Duty. I'm not gonna do that, okay? I would. I just wanted to play the campaign. That's it. That's all I cared about playing of this game and recording up for my YouTube channel because I just wanted to show everyone that it was a decent campaign. It is. It was perfectly fine. Perfectly good. And the um, upgrade system was actually pretty clever too. I mean, you could exploit it. Uh, really early on by replaying missions and getting a lot of points unlocked so your reload speed is super fast. But there at the, the end of the game, like in the last two missions, you don't even need to reload. So what the hell? It's just completely bullshit. <laughs> Those last two missions kind of, yeah, they kind of pissed me off a little bit. The, the second to the last one captured way more than the very last one. The very last one was okay, but not being able to reload and having to hunt for weapons, that was really, really lame. That really pissed me off. A lot. Ugh. So, as per usual, after voicing my thoughts on the game during the credits, I usually talk about what I'm planning to do next. Um... We've got another first-person shooter slot. I, I, I think I'm going to do first-person shooter and a uh, an RPG back and forth until I run out of either. Um, at some point, I might be going back and making another Minecraft series. Because I had a friend that wanted to play Super Hostile Maps with me. Uh, but that's... We're not sure if that's going to happen yet or when it's going to happen. Um, so don't hold your breath. Uh... At some point, I need to play through Bioshock Infinite. I think that might be the next thing to happen, actually. I'm thinking about it. And... Yeah. That might be the next thing on the list. Next year, I have a really, really long Let's Play planned. Of a series I've been wanting to do for a very long time. And also... We're coming up on, uh... I think... A thousand subscribers. We're getting close to a thousand, I believe. Um, and as part of hitting a thousand, I had something planned a long time ago that I wanted to do. And we might actually get time to do it. If I can figure out how to set it up, we'll do it. Because um, I want to play my favorite game for the channel. Favorite game ever. Period. Uh, no spoilers. I'm sure most people know what it is already. But I want to do that too. So, in short order, what I'm looking at is another Minecraft series, maybe. Um, the mystery, really long Let's Play that I'm going to have to do next year. Like, really long. Like, it's probably going to be like 2,000-something episodes. Probably, nah, not 2,000. That'd be dumb. At least 200 episodes. Probably longer than that. Um, it'll be a really long Let's Play. Uh... No! Crap! I remember what I need to do. No, just forget what I said about Bioshock Infinite. I know what I need to do after this. Ah, oh, I completely slipped my mind. I can't believe I completely forgot about it. Okay. Yeah. Um, next two Let's Plays we're gonna do are Skyrim is going to be finished and we're gonna go back to South Park Stick of Truth. Yes! And then we'll do all the other crap I just mentioned. 
Yeah, that's that's important. We need to do those first. I've been doing Skyrim for ages and haven't beaten it yet. All right. Main menu. Yes. Did it freeze? Hello? Hello? Okay, now it's done. Okay, guys! That's it for Modern Warfare, Advanced Warfare, whatever warfare. I don't forgot. I forgot. Uh, and I hope you join me next time for more adventures and stuff. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Skyrim again. We're gonna actually beat that game. All the main storylines, not all the side quests. That would take forever. Um, and after that, or during that, we're going to play South Park. Sick of truth. Yeah! Let's do it! Ugh. See you next time.